What's good YouTube, Ben here, welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to give you episode 19 to the Smackdown, here comes the pain playthrough in the last episode. Uh, we had a six-way match to determine the number one contender for the Royal Rumble for our title. In this one, let's defend it. Let's get into this. Hey everyone, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you. Alright, so we've got to fight Goldberg and uh, HBK in a tag match with Stone Cold for both titles. This is going to get interesting, because... Do the DQ rules apply? Because if they do, then I'm fine. If not, then well. Uh, it would be easier for me if HBK is the lead, because I, then I'll probably just have a proper match, to be honest. Like, or I could just switch to Stone Cold and just have him wrestle for me mostly, and then... To be fair, tag matches are a lot more fun anyway, because with tag matches... I have a partner to rely on as well. Like, I'm not just limited to RVD. I also have my partner, so I'm probably just going to do a normal match, to be perfectly honest. Okie dokie. RVD, hey, we're in a title situation here. But there is no way I'm going to lose this match tonight. I need your help. If it all goes well, then after the match, we'll celebrate. Alright, so we've got... Tori Wilson versus Sable in a singles match. That's easily a Sable win. No, Tori won. Damn. So, we've got RVD and Steve Austin versus Goldberg and Shawn Michaels. So, World Heavyweight Championship and Hardcore Championship match. Alright. DQs are off, so I can use weapons. I might use a weapon, depending on who's in. Um, preferably, Shawn will start, but most definitely not. It's, it's going to be Goldberg in first and me. I'm literally going to immediately switch to Stone Cold because he can handle Goldberg a lot easier. But if things start getting a bit hairy, I will pull in just weapons because I'm not losing my title. But it would make sense anyway because this is a hardcore championship match. So, you know, hardcore is allowed. I mean, it's a title match anyway, so DQs are off, which is great because it means I can just implement weapons. Yeah, I figured it'd be Goldberg. Ow. Right, can I please switch over to Steve Austin? <laughs> Thank you. Stomp a mud all in him. Alright, so now I'm a <laughs> stronger superstar. Steve Austin's finisher will build a lot quicker, which is nice. So at least I do have that assistance, which is cool. To be fair, if I can hit a stunner and then a five star, that might be enough. My problem though is because it's a tag match, you know, there can be interference from the outside by HBK. But if I can hit a stunner and then a five star, I'm pretty set, I think. Because he's already on orange chest, like... Oh, if you want to tag out, I'm okay with that, actually. Ah! <laughs> what the? Trying to go for an immediate pin? I don't think so. Get it. Are we kidding? That's not good. Uh-oh. Quickly! Thank you! What are you taking the chair off him for? Mm. 
Oh my god, get off. I swear, this dude will not stop reversing. Get off, what the? Thank you. I don't think so. Oh, nice. No, dude. Get off, get off, get off. I actually want you to switch out at this point. Get off. Ow. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Oh, I thought I was being speared. I genuinely thought I was about to get speared. Oh my god. You take him for a minute so I can taunt. Sick. Wait, are you? Oh, sweet. Okay. I'll take it. Nope. Look at the baron out of that. I need RVD out of the ring. Thank you. Go away. Oh, he's bringing in a table. Okay, cool. Can can I freaking come on? Come on. Come on. Yes. Woo. Okay. We got it. So, World Heavyweight title defended. Let's go. I will take that. Get absolutely wrecked. I'm not dealing with Goldberg. Woo. All right. That was good. That was very, very good. All right. So, we're still the champions. Very, very spicy. Who wins the Royal Rumble? Triple H. All right, so I guess I'm fighting him at Mania. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'll probably be fighting him at Mania. I mean, to be fair, I did mention last episode it'll probably be someone like Triple H or The Rock or whoever. So we'll see what kind of match we're going to be having at Mania for that, because that should be interesting. All right, so what storyline starting now? Because there's one more pay-per-view before WrestleMania. Oh, no, no cutscenes. Okay. Arvidi versus Batista. Why am I fighting Batista? Oh, hang on. RVD, your fate was decided. As soon as I won the Royal Rumble, the Tarbot is calling my name. You know it, and I know it. Alright, so yeah. That's our cutscene for the week. Okay. I mean, that's fine with me. Like, I have no problem fighting Triple H, so... I'm cool with that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, Triple H was my first defeat in this series. Uh, he absolutely wombo comboed me much earlier on. But I've taken out Goldberg. If I take out Goldberg, I can take out Triple H. So it shouldn't be so bad. Alright, now we're going to take out Batista. Which, to be fair, shouldn't be that bad. This is before Batista got, like, really popular. So... Taking out Batista here shouldn't be that big an issue for me. Alright. Get some RVD funness going on. Bang! Man, RVD's moves just look so deadly. Like, they just look and hit hard. It's the one thing I really love about this game is how hard the moves hit. Because they hit hard. 
Like, they genuinely look like they hurt. Which is exactly what you want, you know? You want the moves to feel like they actually have a lot of impact. It's one thing that a lot more of the recent WWE games sort of missed the mark on is how harsh the moves look. Because they don't actually look like they hurt that bad nowadays. Because it's all about style points and not, you know, I guess power. Which, oh, I can't suplex him because he's a freaking super heavyweight. Okay, cool, I guess. Why is Batista a super heavyweight? I mean, I get it, but still, he shouldn't be a super heavyweight. He should just be a heavyweight, but... All right. It's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Ah! I'm being choke bombed. That's not good. Ow. Get off. You were trying to give me a pin. I don't think so. <laughs> like, that ain't happening. See, I don't know how you do that moonsault move from there. It's like really cool though. To be fair, if I can get him orange chested before I hit a five star, I should be freaking cool. Ah! I got speared. Thankfully, it was not a Goldberg spear. Oh, you're you're done. The moment you did that, you are done. GG, kid. Well done. Like, you exposed a turnbuckle, now you're in trouble. Because I'm gonna... Oh, no. That's not good. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. The moment you exposed that, you screwed yourself. Well done. Not gonna lie, until right now, I kind of forgot that you could do that. Ah! No. Ow. No. I'm just going to show Batista what, like, you know, being a world heavyweight champion is all about. Uh-oh. Ah, I need to get him before he gets his Batista bomb. Because the moment he gets that, I am in trouble. Ow. Get out of it. Oh, hello. <laughs> he instantly got up. Okay, what are you doing? I'm in the ring. Thank you. Right, this should give me enough to get a five star. Yeah. And now Batista's done. He's not kicking out of this. There's no way. Like, he's already down on the floor, not moving. Like, the least I can do is just finish him off. Boom. Batista's down. So that actually wasn't that bad a match, to be honest. That was all right. After his match, Avadi's headed back to the locker room. Wait a minute, Mr. Bookman. What's he doing here? Let me ask you something, RVD. Are you going to be at WrestleMania? Will you be in that main event? Well, I'm sure you think you are, but not, not if I have anything to do with it. I created WrestleMania. I decide who goes and who's in that main event. Now, no way out. You will have a title match. You're going to be in that match with Nash. Wait, wait, not so fast. I'm not finished yet. I have another challenger as well. Come on out. What? What's up? What's going on, Joe? You're gonna go to face both of them at No Way Out? What? Well, that's definitely not good. Um, we have a two-on-one at me at, at, at No Way Out. Why? Holy crap! I get the feeling I'm about to lose my world heavyweight title. <laughs> I heard the Vince Man said to you, next week you and I have a tag team match against HBK's team. Don't worry about it, you can count on me. You just concentrate on the title match. WrestleMania is the most important thing right now. So wait, Goldberg's on my side? I mean, I'm, I, I, will, I will take that. I will, I will take that. 
Steve Austin versus Jericho, that's a, easily a Steve Austin win. The Rock versus Triple H versus Shawn Michaels, Triple H. Yep. Albany versus Test. Okay, I'm fighting Test. Weirdly. <laughs> I haven't seen Test in ages. Like, I think the last time I fought him was in a tag match. I also question the day to day, guys. What is your favorite Royal Rumble match? Uh, it's such a difficult one. There's a lot of good ones. I would say 2020 is probably my favorite. That was a really good match. Although, 2001's was really good, 2004's was decent. Like, there's a lot of really solid Royal Rumble matches. Get off me. Did not mean to do that. I, yes, expose the turnbuckle. I kind of forgot you could do that, and that really helps me out. So that causes a lot more damage to my opponent. And you got to remember that the 5-star Frog Splash is heavily reliant on that chest health being very, very bad. So, chest, torso, whatever. So because of that, I can literally abuse those exposed turnbuckles. There we go. Chest is chest. Chest's chest is now yellow. Lol. Oh, oh man, oh man, get absolutely wombo comboed. To be fair though, if I can beat Nash and HBK at No Way Out, then there's no reason why I can't beat Triple H at WrestleMania. Oh, he's orange. He will be absolutely donezo when I hit him with the five star. Uh oh. Ow. Random sidewalk slam. Get off me. Da. Ah! Ow. Okay, now I just I'm getting absolutely wombo comboed. I can't do anything. I can't reverse or anything. No. <laughs> Alright, hopefully this is enough. It's probably not. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, come on. Dude, not fair. <laughs> All right, this will be enough. Five star frog sploosh. Oh, he's done. There's no way he's kicking out of this. One, two, three. Test is done. I think I need more friends than enemies right now. I'll respect him. I think I need a few more friends. Yes! Mad respect, bruh. We get a handshake. Yeah, we get a handshake. Yeah. I will take that. Cool. Hey, did you hear what happened, RVD? Goldberg has been attacked by someone. Goldberg is on the way to the hospital. Come on. Damn, is that RVD? Should have been more careful. Hey, you better watch your own back as well. Sorry I can't be there to help you out. Well, 
It looks like HPK and Kevin Nash have just like absolutely wombo comboed him. But we'll find out what happens in the next week and the next one. So thank you guys again for watching this video. Don't forget, I do live stream. When I go live, I go live here on YouTube, over on Twitch, and over on Kick at the same time. So if you want to watch my streams here on YouTube, don't forget to turn on notifications. And if you want to watch me on Twitch or on Kick, those links are down below. And don't forget to follow me over there. Thank you for watching today's video. You can hit the button on the right to subscribe to the channel. You can hit the button on the left to watch the previous video. Don't forget to like and comment on this video to help boost it in the algorithm. And don't forget you can also support me further by becoming a channel member. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.